We have an awesome video for you tonight, so I need those thumbs ups and subscribe if you haven't already because we had an awesome box of Just Price Vinyl Records and it was epic and we unboxed stuff, but you didn't get to see the unboxing. You just got to see the results, which is really, really cool. And we had lots more fun, so you should definitely watch this video and leave me some comments. And thumbs up! We're about to do this super large unboxing. I'm lying, because we're only oh, opening box. this one. <laughs> We may open these on a different channel. These are all fun co pops. Like Pikachu. And then we got one box of records. And it feels very light. Well, there's some CDs. Oh, okay. So maybe it's not records. It's a record. It's a record. A it's record. one. One. Nine! Ice nine kills. I love that freaking record. Mm -hmm. Did you see the cover on that? Yes, it's crazy. Hold on, lift it up. You got Freddy, mm -hmm. you got Jason, uh -huh. you got the dude from Scream, uh -huh. you got some freaking punk zombies, uh -huh. you got this dude up on stage throwing knives, what, Jason Voorhees, 6'9", uh -huh. no, <laughs> interesting stuff there, right? Yeah, kind of crazy. Let's see what else you're working with. That just came out today. Yes, yes it did. And we have an infinite number of copies. Yes, we have lots. So if you're looking for it, come see us. That's right. Oh, we have the Rolling Stones. 6 9 No. Kanye West. Okay. 50 Cent. 50 Cent. The Massacre. Hmm? The Massacre to go with I Heard They Kill Live. Whoa. All right, all right. Let's see what you're working with. Boom! What is it? Uh, Jay Z and Kanye West. Rolling Stones, Flowers. Okay. More Rolling Stones. They were live, they were live in concert. Oh, yeah, get your yayas out. Oh, oh. And then we have Ozark Mountain Daredevils. Okay. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Mm -hmm. It's a hell of an unboxing, man. I didn't think you were ever going to finish that. I know, right? It took so man. long. <sighs> pops, man. Funko Pops. Aliens. I got a very important question. What's that? What is the heck is going on over here? I've had the hiccups the entire time that I've organized this box. What? Yeah. I don't hear no hiccups. I know. Now that you turned on the camera, now they're gone. I think you're golden. <laughs> and just in case, boom! <laughs> Did it work? Yes. They're gone. Aliens. Isn't that great? Yeah. You literally had the hiccups. Yes. And I kept holding my breath, and it wasn't working, so then I was holding my breath and trying to swallow more air, and then I'd hiccup, and I'd be so mad. Nobody believes you now. I know, I know. I know. <laughs> How messed up is this? I think, I think our audience scared the crap out of your hiccups, because <laughs> I don't think it was me. You are all spread out. Holy cow. What are you doing? What are we doing? I think they have a uh, newly priced vinyl record. What? We have a few of tonight's just priced vinyl records? And they're awesome. They're so awesome. Do you know why they're so awesome? Why are they so awesome? Well, look at it. What? Look at the first one. Aliens. Aliens. Do -do -do -do. Boom. Ozzy. Bark at the moon. Roof. 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 And did you know he got his um, name Ozzy while he was in um, elementary school? Doing what? Well, that was just his name. His real name is M Michael Osborne. Okay, it took yeah. you. You had to go back to your recessive genes there. A little bit. I messed that hole up. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> I it was live. <laughs> and it's an import from the UK. And it's beautiful. Okay. And we got more Ozzy, Speak of the Devil. And did you know he dropped out of high school at age 15 and he did a bunch of weird jobs. Like he was a horn tuner and a, a plumber. Tuner. But yeah. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Are you telling me Ozzy tooted horns? Yes. Tuned horns. Tuned. Tuned. All right. I thought he was a horn turner. And I was thinking like a bottle turner. Uh. <laughs> I was like, it just had to turn all the horns. I didn't get it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> And then we have Black Sabbath, their first album, Black Sabbath, which, guess what? What? Was only recorded in two days. They had two days in the recording studio, and they were like, well, one of those is going to be mixing it. So they just had played all at the same time, and they just stuck Ozzy in a booth, 
and just made the album. And, and they didn't get to do like a second take of anything. So they had like five seconds. And it's the most epic album. Yeah, it is. Um, kind of like our videos before I started editing. It's yep. known as the first heavy metal album, mm -hmm. which is really cool. And it hit like number 38 on the Billboard charts in the U.S. And it was on that mother for a year. Oh, yeah? They delayed releasing Paranoid in the U.S. because that one was still on the Billboard chart. Nice. Pretty awesome. Yeah, right? Isn't that crazy? I bet you if you get hit, hit her with any question you got about Black Sabbath, go ahead. Any. I challenge you. No. <laughs> she is. Let's keep going. Shh. Before I lose some stuff. Because we've got Sabbath Bloody Sabbath, which was another awesome album. But. How old I, is Ozzy? He old. is 72. He was born in 1948. His birthday is December 3rd. Yep. Which hospital? Who delivered him? Did he bite the head off the bat? Yes. Yes. Yes, he did. In the hospital. <laughs> I'm sorry. Black Sabbath Volume 4. But you didn't let me tell. I've got another paranoid fact, even though I don't have a paranoid album. Go for it. It was supposed to be called War Pigs after the song War Pigs, which was like their protest against Vietnam. But they didn't have enough songs for the album, so in like five seconds, they wrote Paranoid and decided that should be the title track. Okay. Interesting. All right, Frankenstein album, that song's on there. And Ozzy was live! Right. <laughs> and then we've got Never Say Die. Now, Never Say Die, no one really liked. Is and Ozzy was, on there? Yes, Ozzy's on there, but there's a reason for it. Why? In 1977, Ozzy decided he was going to have a solo career. So he left the band. And they're like, what are we going to do? Well, they talked to their friend Dave. Dave, who had in 1973 been in Fleetwood Mac for like five seconds after they fired Danny Kirkwood. Okay. So he was only on two songs on Fleetwood Mac's Penguin album. But they had him come over, Dave Walker, and they were going to release an album. They wrote the album. He came from California all the way to Birmingham. Yeah, they were going to... Burnington, yep. yeah, they were going to do this thing, right? Mm -hmm. Well, then Ozzy decided to come back. Nice. So, yeah, <laughs> so Dave was only on one live performance with Black Sabbath on TV, and then when Ozzy came back, he refused to do any material that Dave wrote. Nice. So they had to rewrite all the songs real quick, but they weren't in that same creative space that they were when they did Paranoid. Oh, you know what Ozzy so, said? Yeah, what? Sharon! <laughs> Just saying, man. This was 1970. This was 1978. I don't think Sharon was there yet. She was there. Oh yeah. Okay. She was always there. And then we've got Black Sabbath, and they were live. They were live. Live evil. I wasn't sure. Uh -huh. <laughs> I wasn't sure. <laughs> Aliens. Oh, did you know that Black Sabbath had 20 lineup changes? That's it. 20. <sighs> yeah, but Ozzy was the singer like six times. Uh huh. <laughs> but like. The drummer would leave, and then Geezer left, and they'd come back and leave and come back. It was kind of crazy. Mm. But I thought that was really cool that Fleetwood Mac and Black yeah. Sabbath had something in common, even though it's just one guy. Aliens. The They're aliens, all right? aliens. They all got with Stevie Nicks. Boom. <laughs> Fight me down in the cut. No. <laughs> I made it. <laughs> And then we've got there scorpions. There is sticky boob. I love this. Yeah, album well, you cover. can see a little more of the stickiness of the boob on the inner sleeve. Really? Yes. The oh. gum's a little bit more translucent on the inner sleeve. Mm -hmm. Do -do -do -do. Richie Blackmore's Rainbow. Nice. Blue Oyster Cult. Blue Oyster Cult. Blue Oyster Cult. What you know about Blue Oyster Cult? That they're called Blue Oyster Cult. Yeah. 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 And they're from New York. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Blue Oyster Cult. Oh, and they had. Do -do 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 -do. I love that cover too. They had three albums in the black and white trilogy, but we only have two out of the three. Because it's the final countdown. Blue Oyster Cult. So wrong. <laughs> and we got more Blue Oyster Cult. Do -do -do. I love Blue Oyster Cult. Cultosaurus Erectus. This is my favorite Blue Oyster Cult cover. Because it reminds awesome. you of. Because it's. Lizard. <laughs> yes, a dinosaur. Ooh, we got more blue oyster cold. And they were alive, they were alive! Hey, our lizard could be a dinosaur. I think he's supposed to live to 20 to 25 years. He's gonna, gonna be make here. It. He's gonna be here a while. Yeah. <laughs> and we got another blue oyster cold. Rainbow! Uriah Heap. Billy Squire. 
Joe Walsh. Oh man, I put out so many Joe Walsh 45s today. There were so many of them. They all went W in the 45 section. That's right. You worked on all the 45s yes. today. Yes, I did. All right. There's no, about it's full. <laughs> how many? How many do you think you put out? Uh, 200, I assume. A couple I don't bags. Know. That was a lot. <laughs> yeah. No, it was no joke. Shooting star. And I cleaned them all. <laughs> Sammy Hagar. Nice. Ooh, ooh, ooh! It's gonna be a punk rock Christmas. Oh man, we need this. Is it? Oh my! It's the Ravers. Very Forty-five cool. speed splatter vinyl. It's punk, I hope. Punk. All right. Whoa. Yeah. I was gonna keep this sucker lifted up. <clears throat> it is ridiculous. It's Godzilla, but it is a Japanese import. Obviously, it has posters and inserts and no obi of course but look at that dude what the heck is going on here is that cool it, pretty freaking cool mm -hmm. oh and then we've got jerry garcia and it's called garcia and it's a white label promo oh yeah mm -hmm. okay and there's a boob on the front cover yes <laughs> baru review okay i don't know that it's new wave and we've got another one okay the Connells, that's alternative a cool rock. Cover. Abbey Road, Tangerine Dream. Tangerine Dream. Tangerine Dream. Got any facts? Um, not that I remember right now, mm. but this one's an import from Germany. Now, I got something to say about Tangerine Dream. Yes. If you're going through some stuff, man, and you know, you're trying to holistically heal yourself, that's the type of music yeah. you listen to. Yeah, it's ambient, electronic. Yes, it and, was... and it, it is very peaceful, and, and it's unusual, mm -hmm. to say the least. And this is Tangerine Dream Poland, and they were live, they were live in Warsaw, Poland. Okay, it makes and some sense. It's an import from the UK. <laughs> okay, you just confused the situation. And we got more Tangerine Dream. Now, you know what I love about those Tangerine Dreams? What? They are not soundtracks. No. Because... Tangerine Dream put out a lot of a different lot of soundtracks, soundtracks, and a lot mm -hmm. of those soundtracks are pretty rare. Mm -hmm. But I like his, I, I like their actual albums. Ricochet, Tangerine Dream. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, I have no idea how to say it. <laughs> this is art rock and pop rock, and it is in Russian. And the first song is really awesome, and it's translated to UFO. Do -do -do -do. You know what it is? What? I have no damn clue. I don't <laughs> even know. I don't know. Oh, yeah. There it is. It's, it says what it's translated into. Moscow Group. You know what the problem is with this record? What? I don't know a single damn Russian word. Vodka. Vodka! <laughs> there you go. Perfect. Why did that come from you, though? She's drinking the Kool-Aid. Mmm. From all those pops we put out? Yes. Neil Young? Hey, he was live. He was live. She waited for me, guys. We got another Neil Young. The police. Roxanne. Unfortunately, it is not translucent purple, but it is very, very clean. All right. Kinks. Yep. Preservation Act 2. Psychedelic Furs. Psychedelic Furs. Now, I know I put out like five Psychedelic Fur 45s today. Did you put out any Psychedelic Furs 45s? Not that I remember. I knew I was telling you to wash, though. <laughs> <laughs> I know I put and out Van five. Van Halen. There was a I couple. Started, I started the 45s before she got here. There was Van Halen 45s? Yes, there was. You got to yank those for me. The band, Rock of Ages. Whose band? The band. Bob Dylan's band. Yes, 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 it's yes. <laughs> Close to the edge. <laughs> yes, 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 it's yes. yes. Fragile. Mm. <laughs> the who? The who? Who are you? Who, 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 who? Eagles? Desperado. Desperado. Why How don't I hate you this come to your senses? Do you know there's like nothing in our Eagles section? I, I, it's crazy. I like a lot of the Eagles albums. Okay. I really do. You don't like Desperado? I don't like Desperado. And everybody's like, How could you not like Desperado? Fight me down in the comments. No, I, I don't like Desperado. <laughs> Just saying. Simon and Carfunkel. Bridge Over Trouble Water. We needed this album so bad. Yes, yes, we did. So yeah. bad. We only had parts. We only have that one. <laughs> What is the whole thing just this I one? Was in the wrong spot. <laughs> wow. Okay. Yeah, that was it. Oh yeah, my cousin was in the in wrong Santana. spot. <laughs> Interesting. And there's Santana. Aliens. I manifested yeah. that all day. <laughs> oh, lift this out. This is freaking epic. Thunder. Headphones for cows. Huh. Right. <laughs> That's great. 
And look, the cows are chasing them. <laughs> look, the bulls. And it's a gold stamp promo with a cow on top. I love it. How Epic awesome album. Epic album. The Beach Boys. There's a ton of those for you, Fest, too. More Beach Boys. Tyler Rungrip. Utopia. Another Utopia. Utopia. Buck Dharma. Flat Out. Okay. Ian Hunter. Donnie Iris. Jethro Tull. Is it thick like the brick? Yes, it is. It is, it is thick like the brick. All right, it is the original with the newspaper. Woo oh, oh, okay. Hold this. Uh oh. Okay, uh, there was something really cool that I forgot to point out. Why did we get the one out? Uh, She's digging in the crate, man. Okay, here we go. Okay, so see how they're both like fake newspaper things? Yes. Uh huh. Well, at the bottom of this one, they wrote a fake article. Record companies in the U.S. and abroad are aghast at the unmigated gall displayed by the Philadelphia-based Broadway rock band because they made up fake stories. Uh, so then they wrote a fake newspaper article about it. Nice. And it's like, hmm, where did you get that idea? For me. They stole it all for me. Man. More Death Hotel? Billy Joel? Billy Joel! Oh, man, we need them. Michael Nesmith from the Monkees. What? Hey, hey, we're the Monkees. Yeah. Never heard of them. <laughs> Rick Springfield. Grace Slick. Nice. Johnny, Johnny Winter. Winter, they were alive, they were alive. He it, was live, yeah, he, he was yeah, live. He was live. Not they. It, <laughs> well, it was Johnny Winter and. And that was it. Johnny Winter and. Himself. <laughs> Howard Jones. Donovan. Traffic. And there's corners. Steve Winwood. Bad Company. Tommy Conwell. Big Daddy Graham. Hooters! We have Hooters! <laughs> How oh. do you always scream Hooters like? Because I think it's funny. Mm, I agree. <laughs> I know, you just like their wings. Okay, look, we got George Thorogood and the Destroyers, but wait, there's more because it is an import from Portugal. Portugal? Portugal. How do you get the time? I know one Portuguese word. What's that? Twerking. It's like a cute way to call a pig. Okay. Twerking. George Thorogood and the Destroyers. And we got oh! They were alive! He was alive! He was alive! George Thorogood <laughs> and the Destroyers. Head East. I just go with they. <laughs> Haircut 100. Steve Worley. Dirk Hamilton. And this one is a white label promo. I don't know what gave you that clue. <laughs> Robert Hazard and the Heroes. Al Stewart, Prince. Ooh, ooh, and then we got ooh. the Jackson Five, Michael Jackson, and the Jackson Five, fourteen greatest hits, and it's a picture disc, and it has a poster. It has a poster. It has a poster. You want to see it? Yeah, I want to see the poster. I didn't even unfold a it. A Jackson Five poster? What? I'm mean, hanging in my bedroom. Easy, easy. one, two, three. <laughs> okay. Is that a cheap poster? It's it's a it's a regular size poster. Oh. It's not, it's not a like a poster. Yeah. And the, and the Look at those pimps! Damn, I love them, the outfits. I like this one up here. Mmm. That's a pretty badass poster. Okay. I agree. Should show the other side too. Aliens. And we have 12 inch singles. <laughs> Who is it? The Fix. The Fix. Oh, and then we've got Jump in the Saddle Band. There is a horse in their bed. Mm -hmm. One, two, <laughs> three, four, five. Wow! I wonder five, if they named the horse. Guys and a horse. <laughs> that must have been the horse in the desert with no name. Mm -hmm. They named it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> up in their bed too. Mm. <laughs> cool. What you doing? What the? What you doing? Look! Look at this! Look at this! You damn vultures! I opened one box up, and what are you eating? It's my favorite one. You gotta show the whole world now. Ain't nobody leaving. No, that's what you know. Uh, My okay. caramel smidgens, man, from Gertrude Hulk, man, that ain't right. <laughs> are the best ones. I know they are. I think I buy them. It's caramel <laughs> smidgens all day. What are they gonna do now? So now they gotta leave us a comment and let us know what their favorite part of that box was because we have some really awesome stuff. They gotta give us a like, a big old thumbs up because everybody likes to thumbs up when you do good, you get good, and then they have to. What? Subscribe. Huh? <laughs> subscribe! <laughs> subscribe! Subscribe! <laughs> Ring that bell! Ding, ding, ding! Because we do a video like this a lot, and we'll see you soon! I was the only one without my mouth full. <laughs> what? I'm totally it was so good. You know what? Yeah. You know what? We were leaving, right? And I said, do me a favor, hold this bag. 
I think you're eating my shit. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Mm -hmm. Spin me round. Motherfucker.